Welcome back. The third mutation method for permutations is known as the inversion mutation. In this method, we randomly pick two elements and then we invert or reverse the substring or the values between them, right? We just randomly pick two points and then we reverse that subarray or sublist. We just reverse it, reverse it or invert it. This method preserves most adjacency information but it's disruptive of the order information okay the way things are ordered here get disrupted let's have a look at a simple example if we have the same array that we used before let's say that we randomly choose two points and the start the start cut point is here and the end point is here then what we do is we just reverse that 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 sub array so it was two three five four it becomes five four three two basically what we do is we swap the first element with the last element we swap the second element with the element before the last or the or the last from from the end oh, i'm sorry the second from the end and so on and so forth right we just invert that uh, array one thing i'd like to say uh, when we explained the uh, uh, swap mutation or insert mutation it does not necessarily mean that if you look at the code here it does not necessarily mean that we can only do this once no, rather we can do it several times, so we can have a loop to do this several times, right? Like here for the insert mutation or for the swap mutation, we can do this several times. It will uh, uh, give us new uh, 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 chromosomes, right? Now for the inversion mutation, as we mentioned, this is how it works. And the way we do it here, here I actually do it five times. So the same idea from before, input to the method is an integer array. We make a clone of it, we calculate the length, and then we're going to um repeat this idea of randomly choosing two points and then reversing the array the subarray between them we're going to repeat it five times so randomly choose two points the way we did it before we make sure that r1 is less than r2 r1 and r2 now are two indices in the array right in this in this array what we do is we find the the middle point between r2 r1 and r2 because what we do we use the middle point to swap elements from the far right to the, and the far left and so on and so forth and then we just loop through the elements uh, int i equals r1 we start at r1 and we go all the way to the middle point and then we swap the first element the element at i with the last element which is r2 right we swap those and then in the next iteration we uh, notice that end count is r2 so we decrement that by one so now in this in the second iteration we are at the uh, element second from 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 the last the element just before r the element at r2 and then we swap it with the element right after r1 and so on and so forth i hope the idea makes sense we try to find the, find the middle point obviously here we don't have middle point because uh the, the length of the subarray is four so if it was five let's say if we had two three four five six then the middle point is at four then what we do is we swap two with six and then in the next iteration we swap three with four right but in the in, in the idea here we're going to swap three with four and then two with five so we have five three five four three two a second look at the code and notice that we actually repeated five times very important to understand the idea of finding the middle point and then swapping the elements from the right and uh, and the left of that point thanks again for watching in the next uh, video we'll have a look at our final mutation method after that we'll speak more about the problem that we're going to solve using uh, genetic algorithms thanks again and see you next time